Are we live? We are live. Perfect. Amazing. I love it. Minnesota Golden Gopher Baseball finally back. I finally have a chance to stream and record baseball again. My God, have the last couple days been nuts. I put up a lot of NASCAR content because I had a friend over. That's what we were playing. I was like, well, we might as well put something up there. So I got like a, I don't know, 54 second clip, which has like a view. I think that was from me. Uh, NASCAR heat improbable finish had about five views. And then the split screen at Bristol had around six views. So not very good. So people are not receiving the NASCAR race all too well. Um, <clears throat> my race won at Daytona. Two views. Pretty sure one of them was from me. I rewatched it back to make sure everything was good. So, yeah. But my 19 second uh, video clip of realistic metronome stuff did pretty well, so. And at least to start. So it's kind of interesting to see how the community reacts to some of these videos. Maximum football usually leads in views and then MLB right behind. Obviously depending on the video. But I am so glad to be back with baseball. I couldn't be happier. Illinois, Minnesota, I've been waiting for this for a while. We're on MLB Network. A special slot. Got a few cold streaking hitters here. We're going to try to get him out of that cold streak. Facing a righty. Want as many lefties up though as possible. Yeah. Poland's going to have to play. Let's just go. Oh, no. And just like that, stream, screwed. All right. The MVP needs to come out. Normally plays third, right? Yo. Crazy. So Levy going to get the start at third base today. I got my coffee nice and hot. Illinois, Minnesota, next on MLB Network. Tonight, MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Yeah, buddy, here we go. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Michael Pesky, a Puerto Rican southpaw, gets the starting assignment here. Porsecki getting the start. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And, every once and in a while, big strike to start the game. Perfect. In there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than an ERA indicates. First pitch. Seven, oh, seven. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Good strike two. Ball there, laid off for the second strike. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Wow, down looking Prosecchi. Amazing gone. start for him. Much needed. So digging in now, Tyler Martin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Good strike ball as he gets the swing and a miss. 47 degrees. 7 degrees tonight at first pitch. Ball one. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. 
Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, d -Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. He's been cold. Batting average fell below 230, but that knock might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Hopefully that's Shit, the safe. And he's in the second safely with the stolen base. Well, he's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into scoring position. Now we'll see if the guys can pick him up. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. That's popped up. Pollard ranges back and he Paul has and it number two. There we go. At the plate, Elijah Cabral. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. Brown is going to have room out And there. just like that, this away to retire the side. we get out of it. Luke Brown Man, this guy getting the lead off really again. It's been a while since he's done this. Eight solid innings in his last start to pick up the win. We'll see if he can keep it going and make it two really good starts in a row. And a Easy take there. Off target here, and it's even at one. Guys, yeah, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out, and in fact, Oregon versus uh, Georgia Tech. Very good matchup. Well, as I do, we were down there today on the field. This team has kind of been a little bit of malaise. Ah, uh, 98 mile power fastball. It's only going to screw me up because I haven't played in a few days. Normally, I play at least one game of baseball every day, whether it's my normal franchise or this franchise. My streaming franchise, I like to call it. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a fastball. Jesus, get me guessing. Back there, two away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes that elevated fast. He's guessing Every low on it, that 0 2 pitch, but that. nope. Most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. The there we go. Hit well by Usher. Very well. That's back. Back and landed in there. A stand-up double for Levi Usher. Ladies and gentlemen, the contact guru gets a double. Yeah, man, just a nice piece of hitting by this youngster. Not only does it look like he's going to be a solid contributor, it looks like he may be an impact player at the big league level for years to come if he can continue to learn and develop. He looks good to me. So now to the plate, Alex Benavides. He swings and grounds into short. Scooped up, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Stepping into the box, Carter Smith, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. No balls in one strike. The 0-1. Big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. And he got there it. There we go. At the plate, Nick Ballard is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ah. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Here he comes on 2-0. Oh. Oh, and he swings right through it there, 2-1. and one. 
You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches. Whoa, we got the call there. Two balls and two, two, two pitch. This is Sky short fly. Short left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Big out. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And it's one and wow. one. Wow. Nelson, originally from the Tar Heel State of North Carolina. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he misses two and one. No score here as we play inning number two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Three this one pitch. So far here with two away. If you're gonna ah, go I one, got two, him. Three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing just that. like that. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. One and a half down. Justin Levy up to bat. Getting the start with Metzinger getting, getting hurt. The whole half of the second. He starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control. Late. Oh and two. Go to that. Now he's being late to fastballs. Late on the first two. All three of them. Unbelievable. Didn't mess around much in Un that half. Freaking believable. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use Base anything hit. else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Was that Britain? Davis now up to bat. And the runner will get back standing. Oh, oh, pitch. Ooh, just foul. Foul. Oh, one pitch on its way. Saws him off here as his ball's popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge wow. the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Tried checking the swing, but didn't work. Now in the box, Ben Blanco. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. First pitch on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Bottom of the second here with no score. Pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare. What can the fighting Illini get done here on the road? Can they steal a victory or two? No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And Takes this the other way to right. Is there and he'll make the catch. Now at the plate, Isaiah Perry. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Call to strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. Slow roller down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit out towards second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Hey, nice A B right there with the pitcher coming to the plate. Good Your hit. Job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. And the pitcher is in fact bunting here as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot. So Minnesota intentionally walking the batter. Sets up the double play possibility. Ooh, good foul. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Perry at second to Silva is over at first with one way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Britain is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for go. the second out. Yep. From the stretch. Oh man. Third inning, no score to this point. Are you kidding me? There as he lays off the breaking ball. Got to find a way to execute. There we go. Fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Shit. He loses him on ball four. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him. Base is juiced. Bill Cruz for a while, hitting his spots and all of a yeah. sudden. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run is scored. And he is Shit. in there. Hey, this Not good. Not good at that all. Right there gives him a two -run lead. Yeah, and Just trying to get a ground right ball. There, huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher is able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Three wow. Now. A good spot to be in right now. Davis trying to calm him down. The guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring. There we go. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up not to bad, the not bad. Pull toward right side Finally. Field. We need the Bomba Squad to come back up. Gonna have to catch up to those fastballs first, that's for sure. So here now is the pitcher, Michael Pesky. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And this is high, a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Two-two pitch. Swing and a miss Shit. As he ran Behind that ball right by him for the first down. Now at the plate, Luke Brown. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Too much bite on the breaking ball. One one pitch. Well off the outside. Coming up now. The one one home. Big hit for Brown. Into center field, line Three straight right sliders. That one left over the plate. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Paul and up to bat. Standing in now, Jared Pollard. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hope Paul and get done. Here's the Nubs it. That's going to be a hit, though. In there, Inside hit. outs it. And that runner will go no further than a hit is a hit. There are two aboard now. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. It's only the third inning, and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. Stepping in, Levi Hunger. He'll try to follow up the double. Here comes the contact guru. With another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here ah, comes. that's terrible. So a rather weak start to the at bat as he misses badly there. It's 0 and 1. That was bad and as well. This in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. That one down low looks good for him. And that's a base hit. Come on, AI, you fucking god damn it! Wait, that was caught. What? No. 
What were my eyes seeing? I don't even know. I am... I must be tired. That must be my sign that I am tired, because... Huh. Yeah, it was caught, that's for sure. Alright, whatever. And we got it. My bad. I don't mind saying it. I can't at least live up to my errors. I was like, why is the AI not running? Because they've done that before, where they just don't run right away. And it is absolutely infuriating. So I manually sent them. Come on, get it. There we go. Two ups. That's big. It's like a bunt. Get him. Out. So we had something cooking, but wasn't enough last inning. Benalas can come in and change the game, though. So striding forward now, Alex Benavides. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No Looks at the 97 mile part fastball down in the zone. Strike one. Line to the right side. Hits that one well. And out. Is there and he'll bring this one in. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit. Lavy up to bat. Up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, this and a good hit for Levy. Right up to bat. Blake now, Zach Britton, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for one. After Be nice if you get a home run here. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Swung over that 12 6 and early. Another off speed pitch. Are they going to go high on this one? Nope. Another 12 6. Good pitch. Shoot. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. What's going on? What's up, Carter? How's it going, dude? Did you get all your teams done now? Ah, oh, in the dirt here. I haven't played in like multiple days, if you haven't been able to tell. Clearly showing my hitting ability, or lack thereof. Working for the punch out and the offering. Not like I had much to begin with, considering I'm on like Hall of Fame setting for hitting because of the uh, adjusted difficulty. That's where the game thinks I am at. I would highly disagree. Come on, fallen, fallen, right fallen, fallen. Shit. Put this one away and the side is retired. No fucking way. They're gone. They've got to be somewhere. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now batting Jack Anderson. He successfully laid down a They got to be somewhere. And not easy to do in today's game. That makes you just want to quit and just like cry. He executed that sack bunk perfectly. That's terrible. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fouled off. They've got to be somewhere. There's always an explanation. Got him. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nathan Da Silva. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Da Silva is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. 
Oh, Prosecchi just got hurt in the fifth freaking inning. It's the ball on the ground. He has a potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense. Oh, boy. To be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Evan Webster comes in unexpectedly from the pen. The 0-2 pitch. There we go. Under Due to injury, he, he doesn't necessarily come in now. cold because he gets all the warm-up team, uh, sorry, time that he needs. So, ready once again, Tyler Martin, a hit in two tries so far. There we go. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. They've got to be somewhere, Carter. Somewhere, somehow, somewhere. Ball and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch, and it's fouled away. Are I wish I could just send you like my entire thing so that way you can just Short make adjustments where you want to. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Ah. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kevin. And the inning goes on. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal with a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play just to knock that ball down. There we go. O2 pitch. Swing it. it. That should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Got him. Looking. Fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nice job by Webster. Island. I mean, I know why you say it's all for nothing, and I know that's exactly how it feels. And technically, you have nothing to show as a result. But you do know what you like, you do know what each team is that you made, and you could easily replicate it without spending crazy amounts of time wondering and looking stuff up necessarily to make it spot on because it would still be relatively in your brain so it would be just easier to do it again I've had something similar happen not 30 teams wise but something similar sure I'll bring in a pincher let me just get a pitch warmed up we'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher Wigman up to bat. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And this will be Thank just God. Like the manager ordered. We needed that. He's off the bench with extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Finally, a little something for the Wigman getting a big yeah, double. We needed that bat. so badly. This might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. One ball, no strikes to count. Ha. Huh. The Illinois logo. Soft liner Irony. Short. And a diving Go home. Over, this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. And the oh, Gophers are on the board. Line, so it's the about frickin' time. The irony. It almost hurts then to watch this, doesn't it? At least a little, seeing that that stupid Illinois logo. At least it's not as bad as we're playing in Illinois Stadium, so that way it's like all etched into the field and stuff. I love their stadium. I really do. It's got like ivy walls and stuff. No, it's not Wrigley, but it's got like ivy walls or whatever. It looks real nice. I'm not... I didn't try to make it like considered close to the real Illinois but I was like oh god this one looks really good I'll love to play here and get in nope this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out sorry about all the NASCAR videos Carter I had a friend over for a few days and literally that's all we played so that's what I put up hence is the life I was like, well, I'm not going without putting up content, so here we go. And I did put up that uh, Metrome video. I can't remember if it was you or Bomba Squad I was talking to about that. Probably both. Well 
off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Come on, Levi. Back to back with Levi Usher, the contact guru. Oh. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. The 2 1 home. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer. There we go. A walk. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. It's a fun game. I always recommend it. That's definitely got to be my next stream after this one. Not tonight, of course, but. Did you guys, did you actually enjoy it? Nice. My favorite one was the Daytona one, where it's race one of the series. I'm going to do all 36 eventually. Um, and then the online race. That was just the improbable finish, I think I called it. Such a good one. But if you get maximum football, that's a great game. You'd enjoy it. If you can set aside the tackling animations, it's great. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone. O2 in a big spot. What kind of content are you going to primarily stay around? I know you wanted to do the NCAA, obviously. Baseball. Maximum football. Would you do a Canadian or U.S. college football? This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive. With Canadian would be kind of fun because then they get like that running start at the line of scrimmage. So a full count now. Wow, did we get lucky on that one. That right here from down in the count, wow, wow, wow. Oh my! Stay fair. Yes. Forget about it. This ball is gone. Absolutely, Benares three-run dinger. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now, and they will jump ahead here. It's now four to two. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. He's in there for a cold strike one. Figure out at least get part of that song in there. Up a bit wow, Benales going yard, changing up this game. At over 70%, this batting, this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is. Telling you, Carter, something about you being in the stream is just good luck for me. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Through five innings, it's now four to two. If you get NASCAR Heat 4, I'd love to play with you, though. Go online. You and me versus a ton of computer. That'd be a ton of fun. Stream it. Each of us have it going as a stream. That'd be pretty cool. Entertaining content. All I recommend for uh, maximum football is that you get your announcing voice down and I'm not very good at announcing but it is an awfully freaking boring game to stream if there's no announcements because the game does not have any commentators. I didn't turn them off, there just is nothing. 
I think that's the only thing Access Football really has over Maximum. It's just play by play. And their play by play is kind of broken, in my opinion. It's not great, but it's at least there. Madden's was broken forever, so. <laughs> And that's a triple A title. Thigh high. Strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Fouled off. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Let's get that curveball going. Ah. Down the way, it's a ball and two strikes. No bueno. He look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here's a pop-up now, and he will indeed Boom. make the play in foul territory to retire. And just like that, here we go. To do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of sixth inning. First delivery to him on the way. Ah. Uh. Here and drifting out to shallow center. Ballard is there. One down. Digging in, Henry Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. Throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right. And the one pitch. Throwing. Wow. Him up. Nelson shading to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Coming to the plate now, Ben Blanco. Come on, leave one right up in the zone for me. Not that high. Ah. Ball and a strike. Walker, just a 19-year-old. This is his first year at the big league level. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the 8 all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count right. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Something going here, and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of blue um, They could certainly use that. Right I'm now. torn. I must admit, I have not decided whether I'm getting a PS5 or the Xbox X. I'm. I have no idea. You would think that I would know, but I don't. Madden 20, I'm assuming. Swing and a line drive. Foul. NBA 2K College would be elite. I know you can do create a team, right? Or is it just relocation? But if you got 30 colleges or 32, however many NBA teams are, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Davis is under it. One away. Okay, man, twenty. Digging in now, Isaiah Perry. Isaiah. Oh. First pitch coming. Here it is. I understand that that's one of the few games you got, so I understand why you would stream it. Me being a person that's multiple games, several at this point, refuses to stream anything that's mad in twenty. Two strikes on him now. I may lose viewers for it. I may lose subscribers for it. I don't mind. There are so many people doing Madden 20 videos, and I'm good. I'll play a couple older Maddens like I am now. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice. I have played. Jeez. 
It feels like thousands of hours of Madden 20 at this point. Jackson Green will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out. Pretty much literally. But I have not streamed a single minute. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. It is pretty unrealistic. I mean, it's what we have right now. That's the only unfortunate part. And with 2K not coming out with a simulation style game, the XFL folding. Um, fun fact for you, though. Via Ryan Moody, Maximum Football was trying to incorporate the XFL into their game. They made presentation and different, like, I don't know, what do you call it? Oh, presentation outlays, statistics, um, stuff like that to feel a little bit more immersive throughout the game, kind of like Madden does. And they presented that to the XFL, and yeah. I didn't know that until recently, so kind of cool. Danny Warbs up off the benches. He'll be asked to get something started. I think that's cool that Canuck play made a big run at it. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. The, the only thing that really bugs me about Madden is the offensive line, honestly. The offensive line is the one that gets me. It's like football forever has been based off the offensive line. And the guy who makes the freaking game used to be an offensive lineman. Got it. And I'm talking about Clint Olgenberg or some bullshit like that. I don't give a shit what his name is. So it's a pinch hit single here to kick off the home half of the seventh. Doing basically a man? Are you talking like a fully unlicensed game then? Into the box. And no, I have not. I saw they came out or coming out with like a an obviously a non simulation NFL game. It looked almost cartoonish. That's from Ryan Moody, but I don't know how much stock to take in it, but. I don't know. I would love it, though. Well, I know it would be a 2K football game, but I'm talking like simulation versus non-simulation. Is it going to be uh, realistic teams, realistic players? Because I know they have the agreement with the NFL to put their logos in, but not the NFL PA. And I know that they're working on it, but I know as of right now, they can't put any current NFL players in. What I would love is if they put in classic teams and classic draft classes. So that way you can go draft players as if, let's say, you started in 1997. And you were the Vikings, and you're like, oh, I really need Randy Moss. Well, then you could fucking... I was hitting wrong button. Then you could go get Randy Moss in the draft. My bad. Oh well. I was holding the wrong button down. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Bases are empty here with two men out. I went to the River Hills Mall today. I was super excited about that. Being able to go to a mall and just walk around. There's very few stores open, but... Come on, down the baseline. There we go, and that's a big hit for Poland. Jared Poland, the ginger beard, getting on base here in the bottom of the seventh. Gotta love it. All right. See you soon. Right down the line. Fantastic hit by the ginger beard. Before anybody gets butt hurt, my beard is so red, so. Plate, Fudge. He's working on a one for two game so far. The contact guru, Levi Usher. Batting average always over 350. For a good part of the year, is over like 405, 410. Is hovering in that area. That's crazy. One-one pitch to Levi Usher. 
on the stretch. Lost it in the air out toward right center. Dang it. Martin is under oh well. it and he makes Illinois the for out number taking three. us to the eighth inning. Oh, did I not get anybody warmed up? Oh well. Adam I feel comfortable with Elliot. The bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Adam Elliot. One of the few pitchers I always feel comfortable using. Him and Harris. Ooh, trying to get the bunt down. And the 0-2 pitch from Elliot. Missed the zone. Hey, that's my best attendance in like forever. Besides the Metrodome game. 8,000 fans. Yes, sir. I'll take it. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Ooh, hit well. Can Brown get there? He will. Thank you very much, Brown. Waiting on my bulletproof vest to get in. Super freaking excited. I got the uh, plates already for it. Stab proof. Fuck. The only thing it can't take, I think, is like a a rifle. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. I don't know. I can absorb a lot, but not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitch What I care about most is that it can withstand short distance pistols. If I got shot, that's how I figure I'd get shot. Short distance. Under 10 feet. At least doing the job I have. Oh, just hooking foul. And another foul ball. And the one-two pitch. Oh, that gets in. You don't see that too often. You start to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches. You'll swing at the rosin bag if they'll throw it. Nice job by the offensive player to get it. Wow. Just misses zone. Is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. That's ball. Come on. Well, this is spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. There we go. Right Got him ahead of it. That is a pro pitch right there. 2 0 curveball for a strike. Make those Ooh, kind of pitches. looks at that one. Strike two. Fantastic. Cannot get the K on that one. Carter Smith is on deck. Now the payoff pitch home. Wow. I thought I was going to have the perfect spot. Lined it up right. But it's still missed. I don't know. I don't know. That's lifted the other way out to left. Got there. Has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now the relay home, but not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Standing in, Nick Ballard. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys. There we go. Well, we're just gonna have to respond back. We're going to give our closer the most amount of runs possible. Great catch by the ginger beard. I got to make sure I warm him up. Because he was guaranteed to come in at least. Ooh, Benalis with a three-run dinger earlier in the game. Feel free to miss the zone four times. Be my guest. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Two one pitch. Ah. I don't know why I thought they were gonna go back low. Two two. Freezes him. Strikeout looking. 
man. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff man on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a and really the nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And now a left-hander will start And the one, the one pitch. And this is on again. I'll take it. Now here it comes. Grounded to short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw wow. that time, but no problem over there. Good throw. A little end. high, but an out is an out. Digging in once again, Zach Ritten. And he'll step out and ask for time. They've been trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Maybe at least bring in Borden for this at bat, see if we can get a run in. He's got to remember to substitute him. Ooh. There we go. He's safe. Let's get a rally going. Exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go, Henry. Now back to back righties, technically, versus that lefty. He's up in the double digits with it. You know, he wants to keep it going as long as possible. But this very well could be the last chance to that. could that. be the spark we needed. 1-0 count. Here it is. That's a good pitch to Waiting for him to come back up in the zone. Inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing Ooh, at that cutter nice. in, you're going to end up Placement. with firewood in a broken back. High, but I can't swing at that one. Grounder down the line at third. Looked a little foul. This will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Yeah, it was fouled by a little bit. Looking at the replay. Two two pitch. And hit well. Get down. Shoot. I was gonna be really excited on that one. No, he's not remaining in the game. I promise you. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Matthew Nelson, and they'll need him to get something going here. We're gonna put clink clamp, uh, clink hammer, not clink clamor. Michael Kern takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wow. How do you not call that? They've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this 2-1 pitch. Ninth inning. Misses. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. 3-1 pitch. Oh, wow. Got it. Is it four? For whatever reason, it's showing three on me. 3-2 pitch. Hit well. And there we go. Isaiah Perry up to bat four, Illinois. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got fighting a lion eye. now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Thank God for Alex Benalis, right? With that three-run dinger, we needed that badly. He was able to deliver. Fouled away. In the 0-2 pitch. Oh, I thought that was going to be it, too. Let's go slider inside. The 0-2 pitch again. Nope. I missed my spot. Okay. Not terrible. Good play by Bianco. Got him. So two down. We only need one more to go, and the Golden Gophers would have themselves a victory. All right.
The pitch. Good Strike one. Ball as he gets the swing and a miss. Kirkland, a Cuban-born ball player, and he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, ball fun. And gets it, and I doubt there was any intent behind it. All right. That's fine. That's fine. When he's the force of second is in play. One one pitch. There we go. Got him swinging. What he was he underneath it or behind it? Underneath it and behind it. Guessed low. It went high. Got him. God for a victory. Four runs came in one inning for us, and that was it. All in one inning. And we were shut out after that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful execution. Minnesota getting the victory. The fighting Illini falling to the Golden Gophers. Thank you, everyone. Carter and whoever else joined, thank you for watching. And whoever catches the recording of this, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are literally making my dreams come true by just even watching. Good night. Stay safe. And God bless.